Dumbing Us Down by John Taylor Gatto. And I don't know if I can hold this book right so you can actually get a good look at it. because It's such a glossy cover. I'm afraid the light is going to play all kinds of tricks on me. But um, this is a quick read. This is about, uh, I originally read some of Gatto's uh, work um, in a in another book that eventually I'll get around to uh, reviewing that was a compilation of a lot of different authors with uh, supposedly fringe positions and of which uh, John Taylor Gatto was one. Um, he was a teacher in New York for many years and quit in disgust and kind of turned on the system and started really investigating why the school system had become what it is today. and. He makes some excellent points in this and, and really distills it down to very easy to digest knowledge. And it's one of those things when you initially read his thesis, you think, this is crazy, like nobody could actually prove this, but he can. And his main point is that the purpose of the modern school system is to create compliant workers and compliant citizens not to create actual free thinking, critically thinking human beings. Because as he points out that our, uh, the industrialists of the you know, early 20th century realized that free thinking, critically thinking grown-ups were too independent and too difficult to control. So really effort needed to be made to rein these guys in and turn them into compliant, obedient workers. So one of the things he uncovered in his search to really figure this out was some of the original writings of the original kind of industrialists, a lot of the original guys in the early 20th century that uh, realized that if they were, if they wanted to maintain their hold on control, they were going to have to dumb down the workforce. And uh, thus we have the modern school system. And a good way, a good kind of quick easy litmus test to check this out yourself if you're doubting of this, as he points out, and this again I think is such a, a, a brilliant way to present this, is if naturally speaking about other, there's so many other sciences and things where people have progressed and gained more knowledge as time goes by, but in the modern school system knowledge has gone backwards. And a good example of that, he says, you know, find a textbook from 1920 and find a math textbook and see if you can do uh, high school level math as it was in 1920. And he says, I challenge you, you probably won't be able to do it. And then he says, look at the reading list. Look at the classics of literature. They were expected to both read and understand as well as the writing skills. If you read a letter written, excuse me, if you read a letter by a young adult in you know, 1920 uh, compared to 1920, uh, 2022, you're going to see a totally different writing style. And he says, there's no excuse for that. With all of our technology, all the advances we've done in time-saving devices and computers being readily available, and yet we have people that are actually lower skilled. And he says, that's no accident. That is the, the intent of the modern school system. So that's my quick synopsis on that. Great great information. He's written a lot of a lot of good books and there's several books out there that are whole collections of his writings that I highly recommend. Um, this is kind of a tough pill to swallow I think for both people people on all points of the political spectrum because um, if you tend to lean more politically left you tend to want to believe that the school system is really there for you and if you're on the right um, you also want to believe that there's at its core, it's trying to be a good thing. And the idea, I think people on the right have a tough time grappling with this idea of major business leaders influencing this in a negative capacity. Uh, because that seems like that is counter their interests, but it's actually not. And he does a great job of explaining that. So, uh, Dumbing Us Down by John Taylor Gatto. And you can find some of his lectures on YouTube you can find a lot of good stuff on there. Sadly, I think he passed away uh, about 10 years ago or so. Um, he, again, he's one of those guys I would have loved to have sat down with and talked to personally because some of his wisdom is really um, very simple, uh, 
to the point. It doesn't take a lot of logical hurdles to grasp what he's saying, and I hope that makes sense. There's a lot of writers that you read that, that have to go a long way to make a simple point or make a point, and he does a great job of distilling down the information and explaining in plain English why the modern school system is so messed up. Uh, so, anyway, I highly recommend this. This is one of those that I think to really grasp the current political climate we're in, the per current social climate we're in, I think it, it does, does a person well to really get into this. And this really helps strip away some of that left and right thinking that people fall prey to that uh, the left is good or, oh no, the right is good or, you know, this side is, is actually my winning team. And to quote uh, the comedian Bill Hicks, it's like the, the puppet on the left is saying what I want to hear and the puppet on the right is saying what I want to hear and, and then realizing, oh, it's the same guy holding the same two puppets. So anyway, with that aside out of the way, um, really good book, highly recommend it. Um, and if nothing else, if you're on a tight budget, just go straight, go to YouTube and search John Taylor Gatto and uh, listen to some of his lectures. You'll, you will be blown away. Or there's just some videos of people just reading some of his lectures online. They're all fantastic uh, material. And again, very eye-opening in the broad spectrum of the current state of affairs. So there you go.